Yeah, a, a minute, a minute. What do you want here? Oh, Don't come any closer. What do you want here? I came, I came to apologize for everything that happened. No. What do you want here? I came, I came to talk to you to apologize for everything. I'm really sorry. You came to me to apologize for everything. You are really sorry. Oh. I've, I've regretted everything that I did to you. And I'm, I'm truly sorry. Please forgive me. I thought you had the loudest mouth that time. I thought it said you... You, you, you'll be a fool if you should come back to me. Yes, that's why I'm saying I'm, I'm really sorry. Please. What are you sorry for? No, tell me. What, what are you sorry for? What have you done to me? For everything. What is everything? What is, what is embedded in that everything? Well, I'm leaving you for a friend. No. Did you just leave me for a friend? Or you, you left me for my best friend? No, that does not answer the question. Did you just leave me for a friend or you left me for my best friend? My best friend. So you knew he was my best friend, Edna. You knew he was my best friend. You knew Sly and I were very good friends. We shared almost everything in common. Yet you left me for my best friend. And you come back told me you are sorry. Even when I realized you were dating my friend, you got pregnant for my best friend. I followed you to his house. And you had a loudest mouth. You drove me out of the house because you said I am stupid. I am good for nothing. Now you're back on your knees telling me you are sorry. And now, if not for the sake of God, I would have killed you here. If not because I want to be a gentleman. I'm breaking your neck. Now, after making a fool out of me, you are not satisfied. Uh, I regret after, after, after making me look so stupid in front of my friend, you are still not satisfied. After destroying my relationship with my friend, my very old friend, you are still not satisfied. Now you've come back. Ask for forgiveness for me and my baby. And I beg you, just get out of this house. And now, if you know what is good for you right now, just get out of this house. I do not want to lose my temper on you, please. Now just get out of this house. Please forgive me. Now you're pregnant for my friend. You are what? Tell me what happened. He slapped me. Um, I knew it. I knew it was just a matter of time. Before you violate his trackies. And we are going to get to where we are now. I'm sorry. I knew the kind of person. I knew the kind of hell you were entering. I knew the kind of hole you were entering. I advised you. But you did not listen to me. Now that is where you are. Now that is where you are. I truly regret everything that I've You regret. Don't worry. The bigger regret is coming your way. And now, I don't want you again. And I don't want you again. Not even a second would I even want to spend with you. The love I have for you is dead. You said you are sorry. Have you forgotten you promised me forever? 
You promised you're going to be with me forever. And what happened? You betrayed my trust. You killed the love I had for you. Only for you to end up with my own best friend. Somebody I, I, I grew up with. You slept with my best friend. You got pregnant for my best friend. You insulted me before my best friend. You moved out of my house to stay with my best friend. And now you are back telling me I'm sorry and I should take you back. Even the brotherhood will be so disappointed in me if I'm to accept you again. Well, babe, I'm, 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 I'm truly sorry, please. You left. I mean, tell me, why did you leave me for him? What's going on here? Huh? I could hear your voices all the way from the hall. Yes, who are you? I'm daddy, um, that's, that's, that's my, my ex. Ex-girlfriend. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, what? amazing. So what are you doing here? I, I thought you left. Yeah, uh, I, I came Talk louder. Talk to my son about what? About this issue, your issue, your job issue. So that can my come question back was, what uh, what are you doing here again? I thought you had left him. Okay, I that I, I came to apologize. <laughs> Which is said outside. Yeah. I came to apologize for him to come forgive me because I regret leaving him for his best friend. Oh. Interesting. So, Richie, uh, what what is actually going on? Tell me. Tell me. This girl is left. Doesn't even deserve life. I've left. I picked you from the slum. When you had nothing, you were just a street hawker. During my university days, I met you. I mean, which, tell me, which university boy would settle for a street hawker? Hmm. But then, I, I, I saw potentials in you. I picked you. I wasn't having enough, but then I was still making sure you were okay. I set up a business for you. I finished university, I started working. I had to rent a better place for you. You did all this for me. When your rent died, I told you to come and stay with me. Because I feel we could plan marriage together. Daddy, I did all this. I mean, without you knowing. I'm sorry for that. But no, no problem. It, it happens. I understand. Then one fateful day, I found out she was pregnant. Oh, wow. Who is responsible? She told me, Sly. My own Sly. Sly? My own Sly. My best friend. your best friend. Hey, young lady. What, what came hey, over? come back hey, telling hey, me that hey, I should hey, forgive hey, you. Hey, hey, it's okay. Hey, don't, no. hey, don't forget I'm here. Why even came over you? Richie, Why are you even thinking? Richie. Then you know, to make matters worse, I followed her to my best friend's house. This girl called me good for nothing. She, she had the guts to insult me. She, she, she had the guts to even blame me. For being, for, for, she told me I'm useless. Said all of this and now you are here again. And now that I think she, she has a miscarriage or something. Hmm. When she lost the pregnancy, when she lost the baby, but I'm coming back because I'm a foolish man. I don't know what to do with my money. I don't know what to do with my heart. It's okay. So, young lady, uh, what's your name again? Edna. Okay. So, I've heard my son. Is he telling the truth? Yes. Speak up. Yes, he, he's telling me the truth. So why did you do all of this? What came over you? I don't know what came over me. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. I'm, I'm really sorry. Please help me break him. Please. You, you, you slept with my son's best friend. And you left him on top of it. And you called him all sort of names because he doesn't have money or what or because his friend has more money than him which is which 
So all your intentions was that you were never pleased with what you had. You were, not, you were never content. And you fell for his friend rather. And now that you've gone that things are not working out for you, now that you've seen the real side of who that guy was, now you want to come back to him. I, I don't get it. I, I don't think anyone in his shoes would even accept you back. Yes, I'm being honest. Probably you just have to learn a lesson from this and move on with life. But I don't know. For my son, probably this is also a lesson to you, Ichi. Because sometimes we all claim we love each other, we love each other, but this is the time you are supposed to probably show your love for each other. I am not going to decide for you. But look within your heart if that is what you want. And for you, young lady, Edna or whatever you are called, be very patient in life. Whatever you have, just cherish it with all your heart. It's not that glitters that is gold. Now you're going to see if they said both sides. Now you've seen that one side is better than the other. Now you want to come back to the old place. Ah, well, that's what I can say for now. But for him, the decision is up to him. I can't do anything. Okay? So I'll just leave both of you to take your decisions. Okay? You know what, Daddy? You know, there's a saying that goes that. You never know what you have until, until you lose it. And now, you, you ended up picking stones when you had a diamond. Hmm. Daddy, right in front of you, will I tell you, I'm not interested in anything about any again. And now, get out. Get out. I'm sorry. He has decided, okay? And I think... And listen, pretend we never met. Pretend we never met. Get out. Women of today. Learn your lessons, okay? I don't think I should just get out. Richie, be gentle on earth. 